Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you um, how to work with categories or what's also sometimes called assignment types in Synergy and Google Classroom when you have them synced up and also show you a couple new features that have come uh, become available to us on Synergy. So first things first, um, you're going to want to check on Synergy your gradebook setup. So this is, again, originally where they call it assignment type here. It is um, used synonymously with the word category as well. But this is, again, where you would have all the labels that you might put on, um, on assignments that you give your students and are scoring. Um, they might fall into one of these categories. And of course, you could have others. Um, and you can come over here and add your own. Um, and uh, customize them however you want but they will appear here and if you use weights this is where you would put those weights for that um, so that's where the categories and assignment types live on synergy and then of course when you give assignments um, you can see if you have the default uh, gradebook view on and under the options for header fields if you have it displaying the category on here you'll be able to see those those here once they are assigned a particular a particular category so um if you are synced with google classroom as i am there um how we used to do categories is when you gave a particular assignment you would um, type something in the description field here. And actually that one doesn't have one, but I think this one. Okay, so whatever, if you typed a certain keyword from your categories in here, then Synergy would read this field and it would um, categorize it for you when it pulled that assignment in. Um, there is a new, uh, not necessarily new way, but um, Synergy now is able to read the um, category field on Google Classroom. So for example, if you set up categories on Google Classroom, when you make an assignment, you get this little drop down menu here with your categories and you can categorize it here. And while Synergy used to only pull from here, it now will actually pull from here. So you can label your category here and it will automatically do it when it pulls it over. Now, if you don't have that set up yet in Google Classroom, you can go into the settings wheel up at the top. And once it loads in there, which it hopefully will soon, once it loads in, you can scroll down to the grading section and uh, you'll just see this add grade category button here. So if you click on that, it gives you a place to type in. So let's just say I'm going to add this category field. And I can, of course, delete any of the other ones. The default points just is, in general, if homework is usually worth 10 or, you know, tests are usually worth 100. Um, however, if you kind of have a default point value, you could put that in here. And it'll put it on there for you when you open the assignment, but you can still manually change it um, at any time. So don't worry too much about that. Just add your categories. What you do need to worry about, what you do need to make sure is that these match absolutely exact with whatever ones you wanna use over here. They need to be spelled the same, look the same, um, same amount of spacing, everything like that. Otherwise they will not match up. So just make sure you're matching those up. And the other thing is, is that even though you can add weights to the categories over here in Google Classroom, um, we recommend you do not do that because um, the way Google Classroom calculates the weights is slightly different than Synergy and it will just be confusing to you and or the students. So um, definitely use the categories over here if you want, but um, don't show an overall grade and don't put uh, weighted categories on um, on Google Classroom to allow it to calculate. It'll just cause problems in the future. So once you have those set up the way you want, make sure you save. And then when you are adding a new assignment, 
you will now have this area where you can choose the category and that will come over into Synergy when you sync, All right? So that's one way to work with the categories in Synergy and Google Classroom. Another thing is I know in the past people were manually going in and setting um, the category. So let's say these came in by default as assignment because there was no category assigned. A lot of people would go ahead and open it up and they would change the category manually on the drop down menu here. Um, unfortunately, it's not allowing that right now like it used to. You have to unlock the assignment from Google Classroom. And in some cases, it'll let you as soon as you unlock it. In other cases, you have to do a little workaround where you close out of the window and then reopen it. Um, and then it will let you manually change the category there. Um, but just keep in mind, if I manually change this category here when it's unlocked from Google, if I have put it on um, Google as something else, Google is going to override it. So like this one, it's participation over here. If I, even if I change it manually, if I relock it to Google, it's going to override my change when I sync it. Um, so I have it homework. But when I sync up again, because I've locked it again, um, Google will override. So if you are going to use that, make sure it's correct on Google Classroom because that's what's going to override. And then um, the last feature, well, two more things I want to show you. Um, you'll notice if you're viewing by unit that it is automatically putting these headings on your um, assignments. What it's doing now is taking the topic field from Google Classroom and putting that here in your Synergy Gradebook. Um, if you don't like that, unfortunately, there's no way to turn it off. So um, you could just change your view to view by week, and then it'll just give you a little week there, or view by category, and it will group your assignments by category instead. But um, just keep that in mind. Um, if, if you have it on view by unit, it's going to pull the topics from um, Google Classroom now and put that on the top of them. So um, alternatively, you could take advantage of that and start grouping your assignments under units now um, in Google Classroom, um, but that's up to you. And just wanted you to be aware of that change. And then the last um, feature I wanted to show you, which can again also be used as a workaround with categories. If you did need to rename all yours um, because you weren't using them on Google Classroom and you just wanna manually change all your categories, Instead of unlocking the, all the assignments one by one, there's a new feature now if you come to the three stack dots where you can unlock all the assignments at the same time. So if I go ahead and click on that, it's going to tell me it's going to reload. Um, when it does that, I'm going to say OK. But now that it's done that, you can see that both of my assignments here have been unlocked with the same click. So I could go into the assignments and manually change the categories if I needed to. Like I said though, keep in mind if you sync up with if once you sync up with Google again, it will go by whatever it says in Google. Um, and then you could also, if you wanted to score over here, um, you could score over here instead of on um, Google Classroom. But the other thing to note is if you are going to score here, you should either leave it unlocked or make sure in your settings that you have um, if that you have it changed to prevent blanks from overriding because what will happen if you have it allowing blanks to overwrite is if I score here and then I go in and I relock everything and again you can relock all assignments from that one at the same time but if I've done that and I haven't graded on Google Classroom and I'm allowing blanks to overwrite, when I sync up, you're going to notice that it will delete all that work I did. It'll delete all those scores. So again, 
just keep those things in mind and, and be careful when you're using the lock and unlock and syncing with Google Classroom that you understand um, what it's going to do. And if you have questions, again, you can always talk to your TTL and they can um, make sure everything is set up correctly in the first place.